Assalamu alaikum dear student hope you are fine and doing well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to an ibs home school i am nasim akhtar assistant teacher of science national ideal english version school morning shift dear student i am going to take a science class for class 7 student dear student our today's topic is assignment and this is assignment 1 our today's topic is assignment 1 and this is lecture number 33 so dear student let us uh, start today's class before starting this class we i want to show you uh, this is the cover page of our assignment on this uh, cover page you have to write your assignment number subject name topic and your name class name roll number shift section and submission date also and you can see our uh, assignment one is based on chapter one this is chapter one and submission date of this assignment is here is two date 15 11 20 and 16 11 20 and the uh, uh, submission time is for girls here is 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and the boys for boys here the time is 12 30 to 3 30 p.m. students you can see here is our assignment task and uh, this is unit and title of the lesson our unit and title of the lesson is chapter 1 lower organisms virus and bacteria and amoeba lower organisms virus and bacteria and amoeba and in our assignment section you can see here is a stem this is a question uh, here is the stem this stem is there are many viruses bacteria fungi and entamoeba in the world not all of them have the same structure and characteristics among them there are some viruses and bacteria in nature which do good and harm to human beings and here is one number question is Amoebic dysentery is caused by which organism? One number question is amoebic dysentery is caused by which organisms? And two number is why are bacteria called primitive? Why are bacteria called primitive? And three number is explain in plants the diseases caused by the first microorganisms that is mentioned in the stem. Here is the first microorganisms is virus and four number analyze the economic significance of the second microorganisms mentioned in the stem here is the second microorganisms is bacteria short question answer is why is fungi called saprophytic and two number is why is virus called a cellular organism dear student today we will discuss among this question we will discuss one number two number and three number from here we will discuss one number two number and three number one number question is amoebic dysentery is caused by which organisms if you open your book chapter one page number six you can find the answer is here dear student for uh, doing this assignment you have to uh, read the chapter uh, very carefully and you have to read the chapter properly then you will find all questions answers is here so listen uh, seven entamoeba you can see entamoeba here is a listen seven name is antamoeba there are two types of dysentery such as amoebic or bacillary one type of bacillus bacteria is responsible for causing bacillary dysentery amoebic dysentery is caused by the infection of one kind of unicellular animal unicellular means one cells animal this is called antamoeba i am reading uh, from your book this point again there are two types of dysentery such as amoebic and bacillary 
one type of bacillus bacteria is responsible for causing bacillary dysentery and amoebic dysentery is caused by the infection of one kind of unicellular animal this is antamoeba so our answer is here you can write from here uh, the answer and you will uh, you can add uh, more lines about and uh, um, amoebic dysentery and you can uh, describe this uh, answer and uh, students you have already know that um, this assignment you have to do by yourselves and your handwriting will be good and uh, you have to write clearly and now two number is why our bacteria is uh, bacteria called primitive why are bacteria called primitive in your book if you can open this page here is page number three you can find uh, here is the answer also this is page number three here is a uh, region about us uh, bacteria so bacteria is non green unicellular microscopic organisms that means it's not green unicellular means it uh, has one cell microscopic that means we can't see uh, without microscope and with primitive nucleus primitive nucleus that means its nucleus is not organized that means there are uh, so many things absent uh, there uh, like uh, nuclear membrane nuclear pore and other uh, parts of nucleus that's called this is primitive nucleus and uh, before answer this um, question you have to know what is primitive cell the cell where you uh, we can find uh, um, organized nucleus and uh, membrane bound organelles there are uh, like mitochondria so that kind of cell are primitive so bacteria uh, in bacteria we can see there is no there is a primitive nucleus and they have no uh, bounded uh, organelles so uh, we can say the bacteria is primitive organism now three number three number uh, question is explain in plants and disease plants the disease diseases caused by the first microorganism that is mentioned in the stem according to our stem we can see here is the first microorganism is viruses here is virus is the first microorganism so you have to explain the uh, implant the disease caused by first microorganism that is mentioned in the stem that means uh, some disease name caused by virus again if you open uh, if you see this page um, this is um, three number page you can find out here is the two uh, disease name caused by virus here is tumoro of rice and mosaic diseases of tobacco tumoro of rice and mosaic diseases of tobacco here is only two diseases name you can write you can write more uh, diseases caused by viruses but uh, dear friend uh, you have to um, I want to inform you you can't write any wrong information here make sure this information is correct then you will write the answers properly and you have to write all assignment clearly and your um, your handwriting should be um, nice so I hope you have understood so dear student I hope you will do your assignment properly and submit your assignment due date. So dear student, I hope you will be do this and submit it properly. Thank you so much.